Hi, in this uh, demonstration we will show you how to create records using FormButler. Creating records in Salesforce is tedious because everybody can have their own extra fields, can have extra lookups, validations, customizations to be done and these we cannot check from the managed package. That's why we have found a much better idea on how to provide the functionality to create records and give the full power to our customers. We do that by creating a flow. So you can just create a flow. Of course, this is a uh, simplified example, uh, but you can create a much more complex flow and then that complex flow will actually update all the records as required. In this uh, update of the flow, uh, update of the records, you, this information would automatically come from the, uh, from the form that you have posted. So let's take a look at our setup, our configuration. In this configuration, we have a couple of fields that we want to show in our, uh, in our document. And these fields, uh, we will ma mainly focus on the case origin field and the case type field. So here on this case origin and case type field, we actually uh, want to grab the information from this and use this to create a new case. So how do we go about that? So in our flow, we first create an, uh, <coughs> an auto-launched flow. And in that flow, we're going to create some Apex-defined variables. So let's uh, remove one of these uh, variables here. Um, and then I'm going to create it all over. Um, so let's remove it here as well. Done. And then I'm going uh, to recreate this uh, variable from scratch. So we first select a new resource. The resource type is going to be a variable. The API name we can just take from here. That's the case type. That's the name of our, uh, um, of our config type. Then we say the, the type is Apex defined. The Apex class is going to be uh, <coughs> Cadmus form form data and meta flow. Okay, that's this one. And then we have to check that it's available for inputs. So now all of the fields that are defined like this will actually be provided to the flow and can be used in the logic to create the, your records. Okay, so now we have our uh, Apex defined variables here set up and now we're going to create a new case. So in this new case that we are going to create uh, we're going to indicate that we first want to set the case origin. We want to set the contact ID. In our case, the contact ID is the record ID because the form started from, the, uh, from a certain contact. Um, if that's not the case, you can, of course, uh, fill in your own variable here. And then next to that, also the uh, case type is required. So from the case, we're going to use the case type. Okay, and we're going to set this to um, the case type uh, variable. And in the case type variable, we have a lot of options here that we can select. Uh, but these are actually uh, predefined settings on the uh, uh, formatting for the value. So in this case, we know it's just going to be a piece of text. So we're going to use a string value. But if you know that your type is going to be a Boolean or a date time or any of the other uh, or an integer, then of course you can just uh, take that value to fill it into your form correctly. So in this case, it's just going to be a piece of text. So I'm going to use the string value. Done. And that's it. Now uh, we have created the case. And then of course in the flow, we can now update this case uh, object and just create the case into our system. On the actionable, you just say the normal actionable, but at the end, you can also enter a flow name. So this is the API name of the flow that you are trying to run after the, uh, um, the form has been submitted by your customer. And you can find this by clicking right here and then copying here the flow API name. Okay, so if you copy that one and just fill it here, then it will know that it doesn't have to process any, uh, any updates but all of the updates, inserts, uh, whatever fields have to be by, uh, passed on to the flow so that uh, the flow can uh, manage all the updates and inserts that has to happen on the, uh, the data that was submitted.